Hey there folks, Luskin by 51mm and today I'm doing a video on a new knife that I have recently purchased. It's another fixed blade and it is a Case Double X United States Marine Corps fighter knife and let me tell you this thing is fine. Let me get it out and let y'all see it. Keep in mind, too, that on this video, uh, since I'm filming with my phone, everything's going to be reversed because when I use the camera that faces me, it flips everything. I don't know why it just does. So I apologize. Come on, folks. Let y'all see the blade. But anyway, it's uh, <coughs> sharp back here on the curve of the blade on the spine whereas in comparison to the you know actual K bar from Olean New York it isn't as you can see there but yes this is the one you're all familiar with my my legitimate K bar um but many have for multiple reasons have told me that this one is not a real one either so they they say that because it's not uh you know it didn't actually wasn't made during world war ii wasn't used in world war ii so therefore it's not real i don't know it's real to me it came out of the k-bar plant it says k-bar there but that is a story for another video on all that but anyway the fit and finish on this knife is uh very very good I will say that the uh, coating that they used, I think, is parkerization. So over time, this will probably rub off a lot quicker than one than the coating on my uh, legitimate K bar. It's pretty freaking sharp on the main blade and back here on the spine. I think I actually kind of think the spine is uh, sharper than the blade itself, which is strange. Maybe that's just me. Um, the handle, stacked leather. It is full tang as well. As you can see there. Yeah. Yep. And it, uh, the hilt has a ever so slight play. I don't think uh, that will be a problem in the long run the handle is a lot thicker than the K bar <coughs> so it feels the hand a lot better it actually kind of feels better in the hand because it's thicker the handles thicker and you can get a better purchase on it for you know slashing and whatnot cutting kind of like that the real K bar or legitimate K-bar is thinner back here on the blade or not back here on the blade back here on the handle <laughs> and you know you can still get a good purchase on it but I kind of like the case double X grip a bit better but with this one you know that's kind of like uh, you know apples to apples there you're they both have a good grip both knives do. And, you know, there's nothing wrong with either one of them. It's just personal preference. You know, I've used this knife for, hell, 10 years. It'll be, I've owned this knife for 10 years come December 2012. Well, uh, this, well, December of this year, I got it in 2012, December. That's what I meant to say. I'm a bit tongue twisted. Today, uh, my left ear is uh, acting more squirrely than it has been so I'm kind of you know all my sounds over here on this side so it is what it is that's kind of bothering me distracted me if you will but you know I'll get used to it as for the sheath let me take the knife out the sheath on the case double X is very well put together it's a bit thicker than 
the K bar sheath. Let me compare. You go down to each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're going to see a big difference. Yeah, the Case Double X is a lot thicker. A little bit longer, too. Let me try and get them lined up. Yeah, just a wee bit, just a, a touch longer back there. Um, <coughs> the Case Double X is pretty well put together. It's got good stitching. I don't see no compromises on the stitches and the, you know, the tassel, well, not tassel, the clip point to uh, lock the blade into the sheath is constructed very much the same way as the K-bars. As you can see, almost kind of carbon copy. Um, but yes, this is, a, from what I can see right now, this is a very nice knife. Very well put together. Um, says there, USMC 1902 UCA. Or 19 on the tang. It's kind of hard to read. And then over here it says Case Double X. Bradford, Pennsylvania, I believe. PA. There on that side. I don't know if you can see that. I'll have to do... Uh, I'll post some pictures up on my community page of it. I need to start posting to that more. Um... But yes, all in all, I believe this is a very well put together knife. And I will, uh, I've already been wearing it for a, a few days now. I just, I just love it because it's lighter than the K-Bar. has a thicker handle than the K-Bar. Uh, the one thing I will say that I don't like about it is the sharpened edge back here on the curve. Um, not that I don't mind it, because that's, that's kind of unique, um, but with the other one, I like to place my fingers, like right there, when I'm doing precise, like what, for one when I'm sharpening, and two when I'm doing like a precise cut, or if you know, you need to grab it and cut something, so when I'm using this knife, I'll have to be sure not to do that, because I could slip up and, you know, cut myself pretty good. It's almost like a raptor's claw. The way it looks. Maybe, yeah, the angle's not the same, but it, it kind of mimics, you know. But yes, uh, the fooler on it as well is uh, pretty deep. I forget what metal it's made out of. Um, the whole reason I bought this knife, I'd been looking at it for a while. Uh, for a few years, actually, ever since I found out Case Double X made a clone. Um of the K-Bar. I wanted it, but, you know, I was always rattling around in the back of my head, do I want to get a Case Double X or another K-Bar, K-Bar, you know, another full length one of these, and I probably will, because, let's face it, I like, you know, I like fixed blade knives. Um, uh, you know, have a collection of them, just like I do swords and guns. Uh, but I was kicking tires, whether I wanted to get it or not. And then I was on a website the other day. Mm, well, I say the other day. It's been about three weeks ago. Um, maybe been before I got COVID. Maybe been after I got COVID. Something like that. Anyway, it, uh, I was on a website. It was knife-based. And... Uh, I think I was looking for another, uh, you know, flip blade pocket knife, you know, something that's, because when I start carrying my SPL1, I, this, I don't know if I'll be able to carry both a fixed blade and a handgun at the same time. This one I might, because it don't weigh as much as the USMC K-Bar, but, uh, you know, this one, uh, yeah, I was kicking tires on it, and then I seen there on that website that, I don't know if it's true or not, but I seen where Case Double X said they're going to be discontinuing this knife. And I freaked out, so I was like, well, 
You know, I hadn't quite made up my mind yet whether I wanted to buy it or not. But I was like, well, if they're going to discontinue it, I may not have any ch any other chance. So, you know, I went and bought it. Um, and so far, I don't regret it because, you know, between the sheath, the way it looks, you know, the blade, the way it feels and handles on the hand. I mean, I, you know, I just, I, I have it and I haven't owned it much, but, you know, I've used that other one enough. I can kind of tell this one's lighter and it almost weighs as much as my Mark I USN. That's how light it is. Uh, that may, that may not help, you know for chopping or nothing, but, um, I'm impressed with it. I like it, and I'll have to do some, uh, you know, wear it a little bit and form an opinion for it, go back and forth between the other one. Um, may start trying to incorporate some cutting tests with my knives, um, do comparisons that way, like with this one, and this one, for example. Do some cutting tests. So, um, stay tuned. There will be more videos on this bad boy eventually. Because um, it is a now... You know, I've compared this K-Bar to my USM Mark I. And the fake K-Bar that's downstairs. Because, you know, I, eventually I could probably do a video where I compare both of these to it. Um, but this one is now in direct comparison to... To this so it's got some competition now because for almost a scale they're almost the same length you know got them right there at the hill and the blade they're same length same everything so we'll see I'll be doing some comparisons and stuff figure out a chopping test that I could do that won't destroy them and uh, you know see how this holds up to this May try some sharp sharpening methods of mine on this as well after I've owned it for a bit. Cause he's pretty sharp, but compared to this, the well naturally, you know, I've done about three different knife sharpening methods to this bad boy to get it as razored up as it is. Um, but <coughs> I could try some. Knife sharpening methods out on this dude and see how it holds an edge. So uh, it's kind of got more of like a buoy look to it there. The way the knife is designed like back here. Kind of has more of a buoy look to it over the USMC. But anywho, I figured I'd let you guys see my new knife. I love it. Haven't really owned it that much. Uh, I wasn't able to get to it for a while because I ordered it in. It came down to my dad's and it sat down there for a few weeks because I wasn't able to, you know, I was sick, couldn't drive, couldn't do nothing. So finally went down the other day, felt good enough to go down and get it. So, yep, here it is. Let me put it back in the sheath. I will uh, say this much, and this one did come with a tassel, which the other one didn't. I thought I, thought I cut myself. You gotta be careful sometimes when you thumb the blade to see how sharp they are. You could accidentally cut yourself. Um, but yeah, this one came with a tassel. The tassel's cool, but I've already walked through Dollar General with it, and this is flinging around everywhere. I mean, yes, it's open. But, you know, this, it wouldn't take much for it to get uh, caught on something. And uh, when I get into my car, I was getting into my car to uh, come back home. And this got caught under my leg, so I'm sitting there trying to move my knife. And my knife's, like, being pulled into my thigh. I mean, albeit it's in the sheath, but, you know, I'm trying to sh switch gears on my car. And I can't scoot over because this is now being pulled into me. So this... Tassel may not be uh, <coughs> uh, be on my hip much longer. I don't know. We'll see. I'll wear it some more. Figure out what I'm doing. But anyway, this has been Pluskin by 51mm, guys. And uh, stay tuned. I do have an update video that I will be doing after this very soon. So, uh, in regards to uh, work and what I've got planned going forward on stuff. So, stay tuned, guys. And... Uh, I'll catch you guys all in the next video.
but I figured I'd do this standalone. So that way the people who want to see just the knife don't have to hear me ramble about uh, what I got planned for the future of the channel. I mean, if you want to go watch the video, I mean, you know, I'm doing that that way to uh, separate it out, and I'll explain why. Um, but, uh, yeah, figured I'd just do this as an independent video on the knife. Anyway, this has been Plus Come by 51 millimeter. I'll catch you guys all in the next video.